So are you sick of paying like large one-off costs for productivity apps or even a recurring uh, subscription for like loads of them and you're just getting started in a business or maybe a freelancer or you're just looking to save some moolah, some dollar, um, then Setup could be an application for you. And today we're going to review it, see whether it's right for you and give you the pros and cons of using this app. So welcome, my name is Francesco. If you're in the hunt for productivity tools, jump over to Tool Finder and you'll find a wide range of them, project management software, task management, and much, much more. You will find a tool for you. That could be the tagline, just made it up. So Setup, so a really interesting application. Um, it's one that's developed by a company called MacPaw. Um, I've known this company for quite a while and they've got a great reputation. They came up with Clean My Mac and a lot of other experiences as well. But Setup is basically like the Netflix for apps because you pay one subscription and that subscription is now priced at $12.49 a month for the medium pricing plan that gives you access to iOS and Mac in terms of getting access to those applications. Um, and it gives you 240 apps that you can download and install within that subscription. And each time, if you're curious how the monetization model works, each time you use a certain application, that developer gets a portion of the money, which is much better than necessarily paying huge amounts um, ongoing or huge amounts upfront for these apps. Now, these apps range from a wide variety of uh, apps that are, can convert stuff for you, um, or like, for example, a timer application, but they really span all the way to email, to project management software, and there's a real range of them. And you're pretty much gonna get any tool for the job in one subscription, which a lot of people like, instead of having to make that investment upfront. This is especially good for freelancers or people with starting a business more recently and they're looking to save all of that faff up front and just pay one subscription as they go. The other con to this experience is that ownership isn't something you have. It's like Netflix, it's like Prime Video, you are renting it per month and if that um, subscription ends you do not have access to it. Um, in terms of your data, I believe it's stored locally. I'll double check on that because I'm not a data expert. But at the same time, it is that certain nature of having another subscription. But this one is housing 240 apps, which is not bad at all. Talking about AI assistance, there is a function in this that helps you with basically being able to save time in finding an app that's right for you in this certain scenario. So you could ask it how to speed up my Mac, um, how to add widgets to my Mac, and it will find an app that's suitable for you. We want to try and beat that. Uh, over on Tool Finder, we've got every productivity app you can think of, and we're adding loads more. So jump over to it, make sure you do. So the AI function's fairly new, but it's actually really powerful for that. There's also some really neat productivity apps on here. I want to dive into five of my favorite ones. Session is a really good example of a great timer application. Again, Be Focused Pro is another one of those, but focuses much more on Pomodoro technique. Mind Node is great for visually mapping things. Craft is a well-known um, sort of documents application. This is skinned down a little bit more than for setup. Uh, and note plan as well, which is great for task calendar and uh, notes as well for managing them in Markdown. Setup itself is a really interesting way to save a bit of money and it's going to be a good bet. But if you're somebody that's sick of subscriptions and wants ownership, this probably isn't the app for you. But if you're one that wants to save a bit of time in installing things and getting ownership and licenses and paying large upfront sums, this could be for you. So it's worth taking a look at if you're interested. I probably recommend this more for those who are freelancers or starting a business. So folks, hopefully you found this useful in diving into some apps on, uh, and this is an app of an app. It's an app of the app. It's Inception, this one. So hopefully you found it interesting. But if you're in the hunt for productivity tools, jump over to Tool Finder and we will see you in the next video. Cheerio.